chapter 26. I follow the new path that leads to the top of Beacon Hill, a carpet of stars glittering beneath my feet as darkness falls. Emerging from the trees, I first see the white dome of the observatory, now scrubbed clean, ready for its grand reopening. But it's the sight of Mum's sculpture that makes me gasp in surprise. Four curving columns made out of glass and steel rise up in front of the observatory. The moon overhead fills these with light, their coloured glass a shimmering beacon in the darkness. Race you to Mum's swirly thing, Charlie shouts, running past me with a delighted squeal. With a grin, I start to chase my little sister, following the twisting path as it heads up the hill. As I run, I keep my eyes fixed on Mum's sculpture. At first, the four columns stand alone, but as the path curves around, the position of the pillars seems to shift, the curling shapes slotting together to form a shimmering spiral reaching up into the night sky. I glance over my shoulder to where Mum and Dad are walking along the path, the two of them laughing together as they watch Charlie and me race for the top. They're still getting divorced, even though I kind of hope that after everything that happened with Dad, it will push them back together. But it's like Mum and Dad told Charlie and me, just because they're splitting up doesn't mean we're not a family anymore. We're just one that has a different shape now, a bit like Mum's sculpture. And we can still come together on a night like this. Inside the observatory, Professor Forster will be getting everything ready. Dad's the guest of honour who will cut the ribbon and declare the Beacon Hill Observatory open to the public. Nobody really knows how he made it home from the Lux Turner platform. Mission Control invented a story about Dad making his escape in an emergency Soyuz module once he'd launched the light swarm probes. Only Professor Forster really knows what happened. She was there waiting for us inside the observatory when we fell to Earth. My arms wrapped around Dad as we stepped out of the light. The European Space Agency, NASA and Roscosmos, the Russian state corporation for space activities, launched a joint top secret investigation to find out the truth. Dad and I were interviewed a ton of times in confidential debriefings. Everyone wanted to know how on earth he ended up sitting with me on top of Beacon Hill as the oxygen on the Lux Turner platform ran out. I just told them the truth. An alien on my phone helped me to bring Dad home. They didn't believe me, but the space agency investigation still took my mobile phone away. It's probably in tiny pieces now, but they won't find a trace of the hive. Buzz is long gone, travelling at near light speed on a one-way trip to Tau City. I hope Buzz makes it. Professor Forster calls Buzz the one that got away. At first I thought she was going to be angry that I'd let proof of aliens that proof that aliens exist just disappear into the depths of space. But she said she doesn't mind. She told me it's enough to know that we found them, at last. And with Dad's help, she reopened the observatory to the public so that everyone can learn more about the universe. Dad believes me. We're making a model of the Hive's own planet out of Lego bricks, based on everything that I can remember. And this time we're going to finish it. Charlie's nearly at the sculpture now. I hang back for a second to let her win the race, then dash to catch her as she runs inside the spiral. My sister shrieks with delight as I scoop her up into my arms. I whirl Charlie around, moonlit rainbows dancing across our faces as we gaze up at the stars. There are thousands of them twinkling in the darkness. Look at all the lights, Charlie says, her voice squeaky with excitement. I used to think that Dad was the star of our family solar system, but now I know that the light shines out, shines in all of us. Buzz showed me that. Sometimes things go wrong, we might spin out of orbit, but all we need to remember is that we're not alone. We all get this one brief moment in the sun, and if you're lucky enough to fill yours with love, let it shine. Mum and Dad join us in the heart of the sculpture. Dad slipping his arm around my shoulder as Mum takes Charlie in her arms. For a second we stand there in silence, all troubles forgotten as we stare in wonder at the stars.